you're watching Weekend Saturdays. Here at Backyard Tech. Okay. Now, this isn't a video I really want to do, but I have been asked to offer up my opinion and point of view on the latest offering from the developers over at Makulu Linux. Now, a few years ago, you'll remember I loved it. And then it was either last year or the year before, I was in the middle of doing a video for it and thought, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. Yesterday for the Friday promo, I said that I deleted a couple of emails from viewers. One got back to me. Well, the other one got back to me overnight and does want me to have a bit of a sticky beak. So for weekend Saturdays here at the Backyard Tech channel, it's system setup and product review time here at Backyard Tech. This one, let's have a late look. Actually, let's have a sticky beak at the latest offering from Makulu Linux. Their Lindo's testing build of March this year. Linux. Windows. Op systems and apps. This is the Backyard Tech System Setup and Product Review. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. You are watching Weekend Saturdays here at the Backyard Tech channel, the new System Setup and Product Review uh, ident, I guess you can call it there. You'll notice that I've dropped one OS base. Now, a viewer by the name of, what's his name or her name or something? I don't know whether it's a he or a she anyway. Uh, M, as in the letter M, has asked if I would have a sticky beak at Makulu Linux. Now, you'll remember a couple of years ago, I think it was now, I didn't mind it. And then, might have been last year, I was in the middle of doing an SSPR video for it. And, oh, no. The, the funny side is here is we know Makulu is sitting atop Debian testing. So theoretically, it's Debian, thus old mate should love it because he is a Debian man when it comes to mainstream distro bases. I don't. I'm not a fan of it. I'm pretty much now, and I keep saying this, I'm pretty much now locked into MX Linux and OpenMan Driver with a few other optional ones that I'll chop and change with. But by definition, it's MX and OpenMan Driver. However... I have been asked to give my opinion on the latest offering from the developers at Makulu. So, for weekend Saturdays here at Backyard Tech, first time in a while actually, let's give Makulu Linux Lindos 2020-03-12 the Backyard Tech channel treatment. Going to have a sticky beak at it. Let's get into it. Alrighty. So, now we're just having a sticky beak at it. Alright. So, I've just gone with the lazy defaults. 4 gig RAM, dual core CPU, BIOS mode, uh, USB 2, 120 gig hard drive. I'm not doing a full. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of going in to this knowing that I am not a fan of Makulu. So there is a little bit of an underlying, uh, I'm not sure I really want to do this. So I know going in and doing it as a BIOS review is utterly catastrophic. Because all the Yuffie fans are going to howl on you like there's no tomorrow for setting up in such a dodgy way. Deal with it. I mean, look. Technically, there is nothing wrong in a VM environment using a BIOS. But I've been asked to have a bit of a quick sticky beak at Makulu Windows, so that's what I'm doing. So we're just having a very quick setup. Um... If it's any good, we might do a full review of it. But I'm going in here with some perceptions anyway. So, you know, I'm not... The thing is, and I keep saying this, and I keep getting held for it, you don't have to love every Linux in the marketplace. Now, okay, yes, by definition, I am a Debian man. I do use Debian. I also do use MX. Makulu sits on Debian testing, okay? That's the way it is. Yeah, I know that. But that doesn't mean I have to love it. There's plenty of operating systems I've looked at right the way through the time I've been running this channel that I've either said no to or, yeah, or love. 
And when it comes to the standard bases on Debian, when it comes to the independent, it's obviously, you know, open man driver. Righto, let's get this going. Next. Erase the disk. No swap. Next. B-A-C-K. Y-R-D. M-A-K-U. L-I-N. D-O-Z. V-M. Now, obviously, when you're doing videos here on YouTube, you do not log in automatically because you'll always have the security and those who are so dead against auto login come on, come down on you like a ton of bricks. I mean, you'll get SH1T from a great height. Okay, looks good. Let's go. I mean, I know I'm going in with some preconceptions anyway, because Makulu Linux isn't a base I enjoy. When you put it up against, say, the likes of MX, you know, and yes, okay, I do have Ferran. I have got a couple of Arch distros or spins and whatever, but, you know, I'm not... I've got my... I've got the Linuxes I like to use. And I think these days we've got to learn that once you are set with a Linux OS and you're enjoying it, there's really no need to change it. You know, and I certainly, unlike some YouTubers, um, I don't go around saying, hey, you're an idiot. Use, my, use the Linux I use, it's better. As I've said before, why, what, apart from obviously community driven development of various Linux bases, if you like a Linux already, why the hell are you going to, you know, trash, have to go through the rigmarole, backing up all your home folder, trashing your hard drive, installing another Linux, restoring all your files, you know, you may as well just stick with one Linux. You may, if you've got a Linux distro you like, you stick with it. You don't chop and change. You know, I mean, yes, I've got Open Man Driver. If I and I love my Open Man Driver, I love MX. You know, the other half laptops got MX. I've got MX on multiple machines, paired back depending on what the machine's used for. In the case of the laptop in our bedroom, it's paired right back. There's very little on it. In the case of the media PC, yeah, that's somewhat paired back. My MX VM fully stacked my laptop fully stacked you know so you don't you know if you're a gen 2 person then you're going to stick with gen 2 if you're an arch person you're going to stick with arch i mean it's not like it's not like an arch person's going to you know trash his arch computer and go and install ubuntu it's not like an ubuntu person who's one-eyed ubuntu is even going to look at a debian distro Anyway, all right. To save video time, we'll be back in uh, in a tick. You're watching, old mates. Backyard tech. Welcome back. Took long enough. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Oh well. Time that time of the morning already. Look at this, old mates on the next phase of caffeine. <laughs> and sure, well. I was going to say sugar, but no, it's no sugar, but I need the caffeine. Oh, oh they're using Constructor. That's interesting. See, I, the, the, what, I snapshot my VMs. I don't back them up, I snapshot them. And if I need to, I can just restore, I can reboot the snapshot and then transfer the snapshot back to the actual host. So, 
how to install the packages. Interesting, I've already got integration between the, the my main PC, the second screen, and this. I'm not actually having to click very much. Uh, takes a while to install. I one op one Linux I, I find painful to install is PEP. It takes a long time to install PEP. <coughs> it 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 does. Well, it's definitely Windows Seven, isn't it? <laughs> it's definitely got that Windows Seven look. And look, okay, there are we know there are plenty of Linuxes out there now, and I've mentioned it. There's been plenty of other YouTube channels mention it. For those who want to dip their toes into Linux, but they don't. You know, they need some sort of familiarity with them. And what you don't want to do, what you don't want to do is drop someone who's never used Linux into a complete CLI base, all right? When I found, when I started using Linux back at Mandrake, KDE looked similar to XP. And a similar feel to it, which is why I liked it. It had more of a classic feel towards the back end of, say, Win 2000 or something. Right? That's why, you know, as soon as I see, you know, as soon as I log into Open Man Driver, I'm, I'm in my element. All right, let's restart this and have a quick sticky beak at Makulu Lindos. And look, guys, you know, you don't have to love every Linux operating system out there. Are you serious? It's stalled. <laughs> it's stalled. Look at that. You guys can't see what I'm doing here, but... reset the damn thing there we go what have we got in the advanced options uh, just start it SM bus host controller not an AI we know <laughs> alright huh. okay this looks a little different. I presume it's working. think it might work this time we might actually get a Makulu Linux video out <laughs> be interesting what the all right I don't know what all this is The virtual box. Looks like an updated. Okay. All right. Well, what do we get with this? Oh, for crying out loud. There's your welcome screen. See if we can configure this a bit better. So it's cinnamon, obviously. Okay, that's a bit easier for me to deal with. All right, so what do we actually get? So catfish is in there, leaf pads in there, whoop. USB. 
calculator archive. So they're just using standard archive manager for your zip and raw files. Steam's there for the gamers. We'll get to that shortly. Okay, so LibreOffice in there for the Office stuff. Interwebs, Google Chrome, Discord's in there by default, Skype, PC Cloud, and Romina for RDC connections. Oh, and OneDrive Sync. Sound and video, so you've got Kazam, you've got Pulse Audio. I, I, I use Pulse. I prefer the way Pulse runs audio systems, even if it sits atop the ALSA uh, back end. And uh, MP3, MPV me, uh, Media Player, Universal Access, KDE's, KMAG's in there, Onboard and Screen Reader. Administration, we'll have a look at all that shortly. Some of your preferences, pretty much the standard Cinnamon type setup. Some of your favorite apps, you've got system settings. Synaptics in there, software updater, drive manager, all that. Uh, games, so Steam's there. Oh, God. Steam's there playing Linux, Lutris, Sudoku. Yep, fair enough. And then Office. Now, that's interesting. Okay, I get the gag, all right. That's MS Office's logo, and then they've got here, you know, Word, PowerPoint, something, Excel, you know. Oh, go away. Yes, yeah, so I don't... It's awfully out of date, that front end, to be honest with you. Um... Yeah, I look. It it's. Can I make a suggestion? If there's plenty of distros out there that are like this, um, this sits atop Debian. So, being a Debian testing base rather than the stable base, you'd want to be eh, wary of a few bits and pieces. Uh, so we've got. There's your DDEB, and there's your Grub Customizer, NTFS Config Tool, Preferences. Ah, Themes. Let's go and see what themes you get with this, shall we? Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's what I thought. So, essentially, it, it, it if you've used Ferran OS from a year or two ago, this will be very familiar for you. Um, yeah, look. Go away. <laughs> um, look, it's all right. Um... I, you're looking at, I mean, it's basically putting cinnamon on top of a Debian with a little bit of other bits and pieces from Makulu's point of view. Uh, oh, look, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, I know this is, I know I'm going to get belted for all of this and, you know, people are going to be so. oh, how can you not love it? It's the best distro out there and all this. And so, guys, seriously? Let's go have a look at some... Oh, I've been in there, haven't I? Yeah. Look, as I said, this is just a quick sticky beak. Um, I haven't played with Makulu for a while. Um, it's a cinnamon front end. Look, I, I guess my thing is, I should love it. It is sitting atop Debian, so you, you, you're guaranteed a stable... Well, it's sitting atop Debian, Debian testing... But being Debian, um, it's sort of easier to use. We'll, we'll just see how, how heavy the, the system is. All right. Oh, well, it is a little... He oh, God. You can't even read that. Oh. 
Let's just go into the preferences and see if we can fix that up a bit. Um, background needs to be black. Oh, hang on. X term. Can we see it? No, we can't even see it properly. Uh, Linux console. Oh, that's worse. Holy hell. RxVT? No, oh, you can sort of see it. It's not great. Okay, so the CPUs are somewhat maxed out. We're using, oh, she, she's heavy, 1.1 gig. It is cinnamon, I'll be honest. Nothing of the swap. That's because there's no swap. Um, yeah, look, it's... it's Eh. That's all I'm going to say. It's, it's just... Yeah. Um, I'm certainly not going to just all of a sudden bow down and say, hey, this is fantastic. I'm going to start running it. Uh, I'm going to delete MX. Um... If you are coming from Windows and you are a long-time Windows user, have a look at Makulu um, for familiarity purposes. If you're looking at dipping your toes into Linux and don't want to start with anything, you know, you don't want to jump from, say, having used Windows for so long going to Slackware, you're going to get lost. Um have a look for yourselves. I'll leave a link in the description below for the download. This is the Makulu Lindos release. All right. There's Core from last year and Flash from last year, if you want to have a sticky beak at them. This is Lindos. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into a whole in-depth review of it, but if you want to try it out for yourselves, go for broke. Let old mate maybe know what you think, but from my point of view. Eh. Stick around, more coming up. Cheers.